Welcome to Learn Wealthy, your go-to channel for real estate insights, market charts, and golden opportunity. Let's build wealth together. How's it going, everyone? It's James Santiago, your host, and you're watching Learn Wealthy. Big news from the latest Federal Reserve's FOMC meeting. The Fed just dropped interest rates by 50 basis points. That's half a percent for the non-financial folks out there. I know what you're thinking. Wait, why should I care about this rate cut? Don't worry, I got you. We'll break it all down and talk about what this means for you and your money and the economy. Let's break it down. So first things first, what exactly is the Fed FOMC? It stands for the Federal Open Market Committee. The people at the Fed who decide what to do with interest rates, think of them as the referee of the economy. And how history showed us over and over that price control doesn't work and we let the Fed control the most important price, the price of money or interest rate. Sometimes they raise rates and sometimes they cut them. And right now they decided to cut them by half a percent. That's a big move. Why did they do this? Well, there's a lot going on in the economy right now. Maybe inflation is cooling down or they're seeing some signs of a slowdown in growth. By cutting rates, the Fed is basically saying we want to make it cheaper for people, more specifically banks, to borrow and spend money. It's like giving the economy a shot of espresso to keep things moving. When interest rates go down, borrowing gets cheaper. This means lower rates on things like credit cards and car loans. But wait, mortgages, it's complicated, so it's gonna be in the next video. About 10,000 realtors will tell you right now, if you're looking to buy a house or refinance, now might be a great time. But I'm gonna have to do a rebuttal on that on my next video. Back to the Fed's rate cut. So what does this mean for the economy? First, cheaper borrowing could encourage more spending and investment. Businesses might take out loans to expand. Theoretically, theoretically, this could give the economy a boost. But there's a flip side. Cutting rates can also signal that the Fed is worried about something. Maybe a recession is looming or the job market is starting to soften. Rate cuts can't fix everything. And if businesses or consumers start getting nervous about the future and the bankers sense a lot of risks in the system, they might hold back on spending anyway. So rate cuts does not always mean money is not tight and that the economy is in Goldilocks. Another thing to watch out for, inflation. When rates drop, borrowing increases and more money enters the economy. If that happens too fast, it could push inflation back up and the Fed has not even hit their 2% target. So if the economy is fine and dandy, why are they cutting rates, risking to bring inflation back? And why 50 instead of just 25 basis points? The Fed probably has the yield curve in mind, what we always talk about in this channel, Learn Wealthy, the yield curve that warns us of a looming recession. Okay, so what about the stock market? Generally, Wall Street loves rate cuts. Lower rates make it easier for companies to borrow and grow, which can push up stock prices. But again, it's all about context. The devil is in the details. If investors think the rate cut means we're heading for a recession, they might not get too excited in investing in a systemically broken economy. So what should you do? Well, if you're thinking about buying a house, refinancing, or taking out a loan, this rate cut could be in your favor, but also maybe not. I'll talk about this more in the next video, but if you're learning a lot so far, subscribe to my channel and stay informed. If you're an investor, it's a good time to stay informed and see how the market reacts. Make this rate cut just one piece of the puzzle and put it together along with the other pieces that we talk about in this channel. In short, this 50 basis point cut is a big deal. It could mean lower rates on loans, a little extra stimulus for the economy, and maybe some relief for borrowers. 
but we'll have to watch how it all plays out. Historically, great cuts never prevent hard landings or recessions. I have the opposite of what we call a Fed-centric view. A quote from one of my idols in economics, George Gammon, from Rebel Capitalist, the Fed is not the center of the solar system. They never stop recessions. They only react to what the market is doing. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And hey, if you got any questions about the rate cut or the economy, drop them in the comments down below. You'll hear about 10,000 realtors right now saying on social media, the Fed cut rates, buy a house now. If you've been watching this channel, you know that I'm an investor first and a salesperson last. I'm not dependent on a commission. So I might have something to say about that. To watch me break down why Fed cutting rates may not directly affect your mortgage, watch me on the next video. And let's all learn wealthy together.